Hi, the Wave 1 release of Dynamic 365 Business Central 2020 has a feature that gives companies greater control over who can export data from the system to Excel. It's WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. If they can see it, they can export it. Using the page menu as we see here, and then they open an Excel action. Excel then loads, and we see that that close integration with Excel means a user can just export the data out to review it in Excel can be really handy but it's also risk the business both in terms of GDPR with the risk that users are exporting personal data and then perhaps not storing it securely but also risk the business as they could easily be exporting sensitive data about prices and costs for example if we return back to Business Central the new update adds in a specific permission which if the user has not got, they cannot do that export and open in Excel. So if I switch accounts and move on to the admin user, I can show how this works. Here we see the permission that's given, the system allow action export to Excel permission, which is contained within the permission set called Excel export action. It's just one permission within that permission set. If I take a further step back, there's a new user group called Excel Export Action, which contains both the local permission set and this new one, the Excel Export Action. And here I can also see the members of that user group that will inherit that permission and therefore be able to export from the system to Excel. I can click the user group members to display them fully and potentially to modify the user group's composition. So I can add and delete users from this screen. There are other ways that you can add members to a group. If I go back from user groups back to the list of users, with one user highlighted, on the right hand side I see my fact boxes and it lists the permission sets, in this case the new permission set that we just gained and the user group that they're a member of. On the card page, I have the same kind of information, I can clearly see which user group they're part of, the Excel export action and the permission sets that they gain. I also have a nice new fast tab called licenses that displays the license type that's been granted. If I change between users, the admin user here has the extra license to reflect they've got an they've got an administration license on under Office 365. Back on the list of users, the fact box pane on the right hand side clearly shows those licenses, the licensing details as well as those permission sets and group memberships. If I go back to the user groups now, choose the Excel Export Action Group. I want to modify its group membership. I want to take away George Techman's the account I demoed with at the start of this video. So if I take George out of this group, he will no longer be able to export to Excel. So I've gone user group members, get the correct line, and simply delete that user from this list. Now if I look at the list of users and choose the correct line, the fact boxes show the current position. George does not have permission to export to Excel. If I switch back into the demo system as George Techman, and I return to the items list page that I was on previously, we now see I've lost that page drop down menu on my actions bar here, and I don't have access to the export to Excel or open an Excel option. Even if I go and attempt to personalize, I can't add that in on that menu bar. I don't have the ability to put in the open in Excel or the page menu. So I am prevented completely from exporting this data out to Excel. If I return to the admin account now, one point's worth mentioning, users are granted licenses that puts in a plan and out of the box most of those plans will actually by default grant access to this permission set. So I'll put them into groups where they end up receiving the Excel export action as we see here. So most of these plans do include the ability to export to Excel by default, so you would need to go and amend the users that you do not wish to export to Excel. 
This is worth reviewing if you've just had your system upgrade from BC150 to BC160, which is what I've been using here.